Fall and winter are one of my favorite times of year. I love getting out on the range. I love taking one of our fireboxes, lighting a big fire like this, and getting my training in. And it's super important, no matter what time of year we're in, that we're putting rounds down range and we're learning. Because ultimately, shooting is a diminishing skill. And it's something that if you don't put your time and energy and resources into, you're not gonna get out of it what you would like. And what I wanna specifically talk about today is cold weather or cooler weather carry. And a lot of us in the US are now experiencing winter. We're out of fall or we're ending fall. The temperatures are dropping like crazy. And you might find yourself in situations like I am right now where I have a sweatshirt on and a jacket on top of that. And this can pretty much be one of the worst case scenarios for me when I'm thinking about training with my firearm. And the reason I'm saying that is the more layers that we add on to ourselves, the harder it is to get the pistol out when we need it. And it becomes extremely evident as soon as we get out and we start training. But I don't see a lot of people talking about this. And I think that it's a topic that we kind of either brush over too quickly and we don't think about it at all, or maybe some people obsess over it too much to the point where they're kind of crippling themselves. I think there's a happy medium here that we can strike when we're deciding how we're going to wear our clothing, what clothing we're gonna wear, and then how we can train while we're wearing this heavier clothing. One of the things that I wanted to first touch on is the fact that one of the biggest things that you're gonna struggle with when you're wearing more layers is your draw. At the end of the day, after I get the pistol out, and I have it on target and I'm shooting, shooting is shooting at that point. In reality, when it's here and I'm engaging a target, everything else is functioning the same. But getting it out of that holster is the key. Now you just noticed that I carry appendix and you can see my appendix holster here. This is the best way that I've found for cold weather carry. And the reason why is as I have multiple jackets on, it's really hard for me to clear garments if I was carrying in a three or four o'clock position. It's very difficult for me to clear those garments and then get my pistol up. There's just a lot of extra motion. Whereas you can tell that no matter where my hands are, I can just simply grab my jackets, lift up, and my pistol's right there. So that's one thing that I would say is carry position matters. And I'm not saying that everybody should carry with an appendix rig, but at the end of the day, it's an option that allows you a lot of flexibility. Some other tips and tricks that I've learned over the years is my sleeves. So this is one area that you're gonna find that you get snug up depending on what kind of sleeves you have, how many layers you have on. You'll notice on this jacket, I've got cinched sleeves. What that allows me to do is kind of keep it above my wristwatch and it keeps them in place on my wrist. So if I draw, and I'll just show you an example here, the gun's empty, I just draw, there's nothing in the way. You can see that my hand is completely free. If you have big baggy sleeves, you're gonna find that as you're drawing your pistol, more often than not, you'll probably get a little bit of your sleeve over top of your hand. And then when you're trying to get a good grip with your pistol, it can really screw you up. The only way you're gonna find out is by thinking through this and then seeing it on the range and you'll see it in real time what's actually happening to you. One of the other tips and tricks that I've learned over the years is actually tucking in my base layer. So I have a t-shirt on underneath all of this and I always tuck that t-shirt in underneath all these layers. And again, that's just so that when I grab these two big layers and I lift up, there's no t-shirt that's getting in the way of me drawing this pistol. And at the end of the day, there's no perfect solution for this, but you need to be spending time on the range and off the range practicing. And you might be wondering, why did I say off the range? And the reality is when we're dealing with heavier clothing and we're trying to be as prepared as possible while staying warm, dry fire is king. And what dry fire is, is simply making sure guns are empty, making sure they're safe, and performing the actions that we're talking about. So you can do that in your house in a safe location and get a lot of reps in just working that pistol, working at clearing those different garments. Because if I had to choose between walking around in the winter with a t-shirt on just so I can draw really quick or being comfortable, I'm gonna choose to be comfortable. I'm gonna wear clothes that help me in the scenarios that I'm in. And I also just recognize that sometimes those clothes are gonna be a hindrance to me. So now I need to be thinking mentally, how am I going to prepare for this? And then putting those different steps in action, both on and off the range. So guys, I hope that that was helpful for you. I know it's a super basic video. I know it's not a super complex topic. This isn't some crazy training video, but I think it's one that's super important. Let me know in the comment section, guys, 
if this was helpful for you. If you want me to dive deeper into any of these topics, that comment section is king. That's the best place to get engaged and let us know what your thoughts are. And while you're at it guys, subscribe, like the video, and please send it to a friend that you know that's carrying, but might need a little bit more training, a little bit more practice as we're getting into winter. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next one.